Hi everyone, welcome to another time lapse video. Today I am painting a Madagascan moon moth because last month I challenged myself to paint a moth every day. I love moths, I think they're so beautiful, and July just happens to be the month that has moth week inside of it. So I just decided to go with it for the whole month. Um, so today I wanted to talk about daily practice because I feel like I've finally come to a point where I can squeeze in some sort of practice every day. It's something that I've always struggled with. I think everyone struggles with it. You start off strong and then just kind of trail off. It's, it's like trying to get in the practice of exercising. It takes a lot of motivation and you really have to focus to be consistent. So I have five tips that I've come up with that have proved to really help me in the recent years. Well, first off, obviously you have to carve out time. It's not going to just happen if you don't decide on a specific time. You have to know in advance, I'm going to do this when I first get up in the morning or at 7 p.m. Or like for me, I always do it before I start my work day, but after I exercise. <laughs> so usually what I do is get up in the morning, you know, I drink my coffee, I go to the gym, come home, take a shower. And then after that, that's the time that I do my face sketch. I've been doing a face every day since January. And that's another thing I try to do every day. Um, my second tip, this seems a little weird, but hey, it works for me, is to use a trigger. Something that will trigger your mind to know that it is time to do your practice. Might be just simply listening to music, um, going to a certain area in your house. For me, it's obviously sitting down at my desk, but I also have a tea, hot tea or a cold tea. It's like my special treat that I only have at that time of day. So as soon as I get that ready and sit down, it's like I know that it's time to sketch. I've tried doing it without it before and just something feels weird and I usually just don't feel the same. I don't know. It works for me. <laughs> um, number three, choose a monthly theme or a challenge with prompts. There are tons of monthly themes out there. Lots of people you can follow on Instagram. One of my favorites is uh, Kick in the Creatives. They are a wonderful group that you can join, you know, the group on Facebook. Uh, they have a website with several monthly prompts and also podcast. It's really great to get you motivated. So anyway, I'll put the link to them below, but they always have tons of resources for you and different monthly themes. Um, sometimes I'll just choose a monthly theme like I did last month with the moths. And it just helps you decide in advance. You don't sit around and think, oh, I don't know what to draw today and just kind of let it go. The decision's already made, so you can just sit down and get to it. Another thing that has really helped me, my fourth tip, is to go small. Um, it's just less overwhelming. I got a small watercolor sketchbook. It's literally three by three inches, and it just helps you, A, be able to get it done qu more quickly. It's just, it's not like you're going to spend hours on it. And it's it just mentally, it's less overwhelming. Um, another thing that I've done in the past is take a spread of my sketchbook and do, let's say, 15 on the first side of the page and 15 on the second side of the page so that the entire month's sketches will fit on one page. They're, they end up being really tiny, but it just gets you into the habit and gets your creative juices flowing. Uh, let's see, my final tip is to give yourself grace. If you don't give yourself grace, 
you definitely will get frustrated or burn out. And that's just, it's just non-productive. What I try to do is fit in a practice at least five days a week. I would love to go seven days a week, but that's not always possible, especially on the weekends whenever we're busy and, you know, sometimes we're not home or whatever. So if I can fit in five days a week, I am usually pretty happy about that. It's really tempting to try to do an entire month through perfectly. And that's great if you can do that. I've just found that it's just too much pressure and nobody needs that. Art is supposed to be enjoyable and something you look forward to. So if you're not feeling it that day, it's okay. Just like in my workout, sometimes some days are great. Some days you feel strong and you're ready to crush it. But some days you just don't feel good. And that is okay. Grace is very important. So I hope these were helpful to you. If you have any other tips that you found very helpful, please leave them, leave a comment. I would love to hear about them because I'm always looking for ways to keep myself in check. Also, I have a lot of real-time videos on there and plan on putting them out as much as I possibly can, as well as vlogs. So that's all I have to say about that. Hope you all have a great day, and here's a little music to finish off the video. Bye! Set.